God, Yoel Romero. A dynamic striker with a perfect record of 18 and 0. Welcome to the stage, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. I mean, I was trying to fight Paula um, in, in my next fight, but you know, he had a bicep injury that was supposed to take nine months to get over, but then miraculously, thanks to Asai, he got healed in three months or two months. And I don't really care about records, man. F records, you know? Do you need a fight with John Jones for your legacy? Nope. I don't need to, but I want to. I don't need to, but I want to. And Dana, tell Mark, book the date. Raider Stadium, 2021, International Fight Week. It goes down. I know that you said you want to fight John Jones, 2021. He's not really Fuck into John Jones. This is about 2-4-A. Enough of that motherfucker. That pulsing picto pussy. That mighty pulsing power picto roid head. Fuck that cunt. We're done with him. Next question. Israel, uh, if your first time around, you're well, you know, you've been around, you've been backstage with them. What's it like? And, and, and one more question. If Romero was an anime character, who, who would he be? <laughs> um, I think first time I've ever seen him was UFC 221 in Perth, Australia. That was my UFC debut, which coincidentally is gonna be in a few days, two years ago. I've only been here less than two years, guys. I'm still a freshman in the UFC. But um, that was the first time I saw him when he was uh, struggling to cut weight, because the sauna was closed or cleaning, but I made weight, you know? I was underweight, and he didn't make weight at that time. And I remember watching him walk around, and yeah, he had a hard time. And that's the only time I've ever had any kind of like, look of him, but today he's gonna film me. He, he do a, a, a good performance. That's what I need to say. It, it is what it is. That's it. Everybody see what, what happened in good performance. It's only what I say. It's good, perfect day, perfect day. It's good. That's it. And also for you all, Israel just mentioned some past weight issues that you had. Are you, are you confident with your weight going into this fight? El peso tuyo. Tu tengo confianza en tu. My brother. Believe me, I don't think about my way now. Never in my life I stay, I have a problem with my way. That's a lie. That's a fucking lie. No, bro. Straight up, you've missed you, weight like three or four times. How is that true? You've I, missed weight already. From missing weight to stool gate. Mr. Isha. No, no, he's okay, he's okay. I don't need this shit. <laughs> no, in your seats, please. Boss, not no. yet. All right, all right. Um, I now have a problem with for long years. That's the big question. Like, uh, like uh, 20 years, not 20, not 18, not 22, for like uh, 25 years, I do that way. For a long time. The first time what I fight in this way is in 97, 1897. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem for me, you know. It's a many oh, years. I love you. Absolutely. I know I not think I might retire. No, no, no. It's, I don't have the option in my mind right now. No. Maybe 10 years, believe me. In 10 years. Believe me. You know how he said he was born in 1865? You know how Cubans lie about their age? Believe me. I don't know how old this man is. He might be a vampire. Believe me. Uh, Dana, feel free to chime in. What do you think it's going to take, Stylebender, to become the cash cow, the number one guy, the face of the UFC, the UFC surpassing Conor McGregor as the most popular fighter in this organization? Oh, I thought that was for you. Um, fuck. Just keep doing what I do. I mean, check out the Rich Eisen show. I did that yesterday. I was in LA. I flew all the way from Auckland. That's, that's a 10, 11 hour flight. And I came to LA for one day, did a gang of work, still trained, came to Houston, trained straight away as I got here, slept, woke up, trained, did some media, and I'm here again. And I'm about to fly straight away, right after this, go back home and keep training. I land at 6 a.m. 
And then 12 p.m., I have Spider, which is the hardest workout of the week. I'm going straight into that. That's why I'm going to be the next cash cow of the UFC, because I work. He says he only, he, I don't talk, I don't talk, I just do. Get you a man that can do both. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.